Komi-san cannot communicate. I find this to be a wholesome and funny anime, and I love those two together. Basically, the whole supremacy of Kom Komi-san can communicate is this girl named Komi- Komi-san. Excuse me, that- She just can't communicate. She literally just cannot communicate at all. She has a hard time, and she has a communication disorder that she just can't- talk to people even though she has this disorder that doesn't mean that she wants to talk to, to people she actually does she wants to make a hundred friends so when our protagonist takadon takadon um uh finds out that oh she can speak and uh, a little bit and that she has this disorder and that she wants to make a hundred friends um you know he helps her to actually you know get more and more friends which i thought was very normal of our main character or oh, i should say him and komi-san because they're both kind of their own respective main characters which talk it on being like second sometimes and having komi-san just like you know doing her own little thing and i love those little episodes when it is just komi-san komi-san just literally just her doing her own little thing and it's just really fucking cute and i love it so much and I love it so much that she. I love like the faces that she makes with her big eyes and her cat ears popping out. I find that to be so fucking adorable. You got the whole internet and, and the whole internet is sipping for her, and the whole classmates, her class one, um, her class one one is literally sipping for her. Literally everybody that she meets literally finds her attractive beautiful and everything and it's just like oh my gosh this girl is so cute she's so beautiful like you, every single episode that komi-san appears in everybody around her is just like oh my god this girl is so uh you know everybody goes crazy for her and it's just like chill the fuck out i get it that she's really pretty but like god damn dude like chill like fucking chill I, I, I don't i don't understand how how like bad down bad these people are being simping over for this girl and i understand it man who would have simp for a girl that that is literally shy to talk to people that's so fucking adorable for that and you know all each and every one um each of the episodes have their little mini episodes so it's just like like there's literally four different things that be that can be happening literally in one episode so it's just like you know what i like the variety of adventures they went to the beach they had their school festival um they komi san and takadana they went to their rooms like um, komi san went to takadana's room and it was just so funny seeing him like reacting like oh my gosh like she's oh she's there like oh my gosh like takadana is literally just like a not even a simp well he is a simp and a chat at the same time like he's trying to have all coming in on situations that yeah he speaks for her or he tries to um clear up some miscommunications and everything um he's there just you know this guy literally likes this girl like you can see it a lot in this anime that he really likes her so much and there was this one moment in their school um tournament and everything between like the different classes that um that Takadam was like there was like this track and field or whatever like when you pass the baton around and um he was my boy Takadam was like literally like oh my god out of breath and then coming to someone was like whispering do your best this motherfucker ran faster than Usain Bolt on in, in his prime like what the fuck is that man that's just so ridiculous but you know it doesn't this anime doesn't take itself seriously at some moments there's this one other character called najimi she is literally oh my gosh she's literally such a comic relief character she literally pushes coming to to do she she doesn't push her but she you know she just pushes her limits of like you know talking wise that she you knows she has to communicate but you know some moments that she she just can't communicate and she just relies on other people just to do the communication for her or she could just literally just like write stuff down that she just usually does she usually just carries like a pen and paper with her all all the time and yeah i love the um, the one moment the one episode that um her uh, komita san and Tagadon went to this um it was like some festival or whatever for just the two of them you dress up in like this um 
cool little Japanese robes and everything for like both men and women, like a like Hanagon or something like that. And like Komina san literally just revealed, like, oh my gosh, she wrote out and said that she likes Takano and just erases it. So I find their relationship to be so fucking adorable. Like, I ship those two. And already a second season is already announced, so it's just like that's even fucking better. Literally, and tw- literally in 2022, like bet, like okay, cool, let's fucking let's fucking go. Like I- I'm ready for season two of coming to Sakai Communicate. And the funny part is, like on the last 12th episode, literally like all the characters was just like telling coming to San, oh yeah, come on, advertise for like the next you know season coming out in 2022. And she was just so shy and whoever is like this the woman who voices Komina-san has to be the luckiest girl ever because like Komina-san only speaks very little like if I had to tell you how many times she speaks throughout this whole anime I'll say maybe less than 10 times she speaks in this entire anime and it's just like wow that girl is making bank for just literally just fucking just like making she just makes noises and i just find that so amusing that the voice actress just makes noises for the character and that's just so funny excuse me to take from that but anyways besides that with the whole comedic and a little bit of romance love that high school well that high school life slice of life shonen or whatever you know i like all that stuff that's in here characters are great supremacy is great and i love it all it's just a really good wholesome anime in my opinion so yeah i'll give this anime a good solid eight out of no, um eight no not even eight a nine out of ten really great stuff love to see what's more what's happening with the next season so yeah guys if you guys have finished watching call me your son can't communicate let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections if not that's okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is sunday go sweet three nine and i hope you all have a wonderful morning night day evening whatever the occasion is and anyways ladies and gentlemen i'll see you on the next one take care stay safe and yeah later